What's going on, it's Dom. Welcome to the channel. Welcome back to another Dom My Why video. Today I'm taking a break from much larger projects that I'm doing up here in an apartment in Brooklyn, New York. And I'm going to tackle a small project here on these doors. Now these are the original doors when this building was built in 1973. And they're your standard, you know, flat, hollow doors. They've been painted and painted over the years many, many times. I want to add some character, some flavor to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these hollow flat panel doors and I'm going to give it some character. I'm going to transform them with a new look and not have to purchase a new door. And what I'm going to do is that. Now that door is brown because uh, it was damaged, had to be replaced. Maintenance came up here, gave us a new door and a new knob, which I didn't need. And then I started my project. Now my project consists of three quarter inch molding that I got at Home Depot. 85 cents a linear foot. To do all three doors, it'll cost me about $40. The cost of a door starts at about $56 if I wanted a cheap, you know, plain door, right? But this is gonna add some character. And what I did was I just measured along the sides equally all around. I did four inches from the sides with the door closed. I measured four inches in on either side. And I also did the same to the top with the door closed four inches from the top down in. And then I laid my first piece of molding up on top. I measured across what the dimensions were. And then I cut all my pieces. And then I just did the sides as well. I measured along the edges. Now, when I got to the center here, I found the center of the uh, door handle. And then I measured four inches up and four inches down. So it gave me a nice square look. Now I'll continue to door number two, which I've already started a little bit, and door number three. And it should be a very simple, quick DIY project. It shouldn't take long at all. And I'm not using any power tools. I'm just using a miter box and a saw to cut the 45 degree angles accordingly. I've got my all purpose Loctite power grab that I'm going to be using because I don't have a nail gun. That's going to make it adhere perfectly. These are very lightweight, so I don't need anything that's going to be too secure. Paint, prime, I'm not going to say what color I'm painting them yet. And then I'm, we're changing the door handles and it's going to have a completely revamped look. I think it's going to look really, really nice. Let's get this done. So here's what I've done with my caulk gun. I've laid a bead of the power grab right along that molding. And I'm just gonna put it right into place. And hopefully I can do this with one hand right at my edge. I'm just gonna lay it right in place. Now it's gonna have a little bit of a gap, but that's okay. Nothing is ever perfect, right? That's why they have caulking for and I'm just gonna press it into place gently right there until I get it right where I want it to be. And again, that's gonna be filled in with caulk and sanded, but now I'm just pressing it down into place, holding it firm, and then I'll lay my blue tape on top of it like I've done there and there, and it'll hold it, it'll sit overnight, and then I'll come back and caulk, prime, paint. But that's how simple it is. Just with a thin bead of caulking. Now again, if I had my nail gun, yes, I'd be putting in a couple of staples in there, probably uh, three, just to hold it firm in place. But this is lightweight wood and the power grab is gonna work just fine. And now I just take my tape lay it over and make sure that I secure it well and that'll hold it right there and that's it all right well, let me continue with the rest of this door glue it all down now that I've got the perfect size let me finish this completely and continue on that second door Here's the finished product. I think the doors look great. The molding adds a little detail to the otherwise flat panel doors. 
The black semi-gloss paint looks really rich against the platinum walls and the ultra pure white molding around it. And the new satin doorknobs add a little modernization. They look awesome. My wife loves them. A simple DIY to upgrade your flat doors. It's very easy to do and gives it so much character. As you can see, I've got some work going on in that bathroom in there. I'm going to be upgrading the sink, the vanity. I'm also going to be refinishing the tiles, perhaps the tub. That might come in a future video. I've got other things going on in this apartment over in the kitchen. Might be recording some of that. But for now, this DIY is finished. This easy, simple mod is done. You can do it. Anyone can do it. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. I respond to all of them. And as always, thank you for watching. See you next time.